what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and this video is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because i signed myself now we got to talk about why are people sleeping on Lil Boy Cantu. Now, if you don't know who Lil Boy Cantu is, let me give a little bit of background. He's a Florida rapper. He's Mexican and proud. He has the flag all over his Instagram. But bigger than that, he started a YouTube page two years ago, 2017. So that's not even that long in terms of music and really being out there. But on his YouTube page, he does a combination of vlogs, um, covers, and a lot of music as well he has about two or three projects there and he also works with a producer by the name of dj flip now dj flip has worked with artists like blueface uh, shoreline mafia uh smoke perp boosie and most notably trippy red and why trippy red in this particular case because all those people have names but that's one of the reasons where if you look at little boy Cantu's development you can see so much reflection of Trippy Red. And when I say that, it's not like just my opinion. I'll play a couple of snippets. Little shorty, it's gonna be all right. Big You can see on these same videos, you see a lot of people compare him to Trippy Red. Of course, some people say, you know, it's like a diet Trippy Red or, you know, it's not quality, he's a copycat. That's cool, but that's a part of the development of Lil Boy Cantu. It's there, you can't really ignore it because Trippy Red has such a strong, clear voice. He was the first one to hit the scene with that voice. And at the end of the day, when so many artists begin, they do have similarities to other artists that have been out there, right? Because they're finding their voice. And that's an interesting part to see when it comes to Lil Boy Cantu because it's out there, it's documented, and it's actually pretty cool to see because now you've started to see there's this point where he has his own potential and potentially finding his own voice. That's where it gets really interesting because if you look at songs like Fireflies or No Good, there's this breakaway from this artist that sounds kind of like Trippy Red to this artist that's actually finding their own voice in this void that actually happens to be in the marketplace. And what I mean by that particularly is if you look at artists like Trippy Red, because it's not just Trippy, so many people have brought rock into hip hop, right? And so many people have tried to say, you know, I'm not a rapper, you know, I'm just an artist and I'm a rocker, I'm a rock star and all that stuff. But if you look at so many of these artists, when we think about him and um, even X a little bit and, and so many of these other artists in this space, their music was still very much driven by the bass, very much driven by hip hop musicality, even trap in some ways, when you look at the core production style. But when we look at songs like Fireflies and No Good for Lil Boy Cantu, which is actually different than the rest of his music, which is similar to the music I just described, is driven more by actual rock aesthetic, right? Or a little, minute, a little bit of pop aesthetic, and that forces you to do something different vocally as well. So the big opportunity is, as opposed to being hip hop bringing a lot of rock in, that feels a little bit more like rock that brings a little hip hop in, like the Blink 182s, uh, Good Charlotte, you know, the Anthem, Yellow Card, Ocean Avenue. His voice sounds a lot more like that versus, once again, just a Trippy Red inspired um, type thing, which Trippy has actually definitely taken a lot of inspiration from those spaces, right, in, in rock. but. It sounds different and it sounds like Lil Boy Cantu has his own voice on those particular songs. And this is important for any artist when you're developing because you want to listen, you want to get some things from other artists who are out there. But once you start to find your own voice, that's when it becomes really dope. So check out those two songs. And to me, I think there's a huge opportunity to have an artist take that position first and become the guy who really has this much hip hop inspiration, but is coming from a rock perspective that feels like that. Because of course there's already artists out there, but if you look at Lil Boy Cantu, his aesthetic, the way he dresses and the energy he brings, it's a little bit more of an immersion or potential for an immersion than there has been before. And that brings me though to why people are sleeping on Lil Boy Cantu. Honestly, there's not enough music out yet that reflects that new voice. So much of it is 
the old stuff or is so similar to that place that's already been saturated with all the SoundCloud rappers and artists that I've mentioned that it's hard to really stand out and people aren't necessarily checking for more of that. But then when you have those standout songs like Fireflies and No Good and potentially getting deeper into that direction, then if he continues to do more of that, I believe he has an opportunity to really carve out something unique, especially with his aesthetic, his look, his feel. Um, from a record label standpoint, they'll see just the way you, he looks. All that stuff fits perfectly in certain marketplace potential because you haven't seen much of that. Even his cover of Mississippi Queen actually shows a little bit of that potential to play with. Now, of course, a lot of people are going to hear an artist like this and they'll probably say, you know, I don't like that voice. They're not used to that particular voice or that vibe, but there'll be a whole marketplace that opens up for an artist like Lil Boy Cantu. But he has to have more music in that particular direction because otherwise people will stay sleeping on him. That's just my opinion. Of course, the bigger thing on top of that is always gonna be the team that he has in place. DJ Flip seems to be integral to his team. Whatever else he has around him in their building, as he finishes up this development stage, which is always kind of happening, but he's as he continues to find his own voice, whatever that looks like, and whoever else decides to help will have a big impact on that because that's just the way it goes when you're an artist that's this early in the game. And as always, this video is brought to you by BrainManNetwork.com because I signed myself. If you like this video, go ahead and like button. If you like, you might as well share. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.